Today we're taking a look at an homage to an amazing watch from Blancpain. This is the Air Command. It's essentially a 50 Fathoms in chronograph form. This is a really good looking watch that they've come out with that is an homage, a direct homage to that watch. You get a swan neck version of the ST19 and the proportions and everything are basically spot on. Let's flip the camera and take a look at the Heritage Chronograph from Suggis. So the Air Command from Blancpain is a beautiful watch. This is a direct homage to the Air Command. So you're gonna see a lot of similarities between these two watches. There's some slight differences. One of those differences is in the bezel. This is a ceramic bezel that is engraved. It is also loomed. This is bi-directional as well. Now I believe the original uh, Air Command is bi-directional as well, but this is ceramic, not sapphire. I believe they get a sapphire crystal uh, while this gets a ceramic. So that might be the only difference. The dial setup is pretty much very, very similar. So you have a tachometer, you have a minute track, you have a bi-compact layout. There's a little bit of a texturing in those sub dials. You have printed on indices, those are filled with loom. So you get a lot of loom on this watch. You have syringe hands, those are filled with loom. Then you have a little arrow, seconds hand, again, filled with loom. So loom shot on this watch is actually going to be very good, especially considering the price that this watch is selling for. We'll get back to that in just a few minutes. Crown, very big, very grippy, signed with the S for Suggis. And then of course, you have an ST19 in the back. This is the swan neck regulated version. So you have the gold swan neck right there. It is a column wheel chronograph hand wound, and it is of course designed after a vintage Venus movement. Now, I always say this about the ST19, these movements are awesome. They're pretty reliable. And of course, unless you're taking a loop out and looking at it very, very closely, they're actually really good looking. So when you flip over your watch, you have something nice to look at. You have a screwing case back and you do not get, you have a screwing case back, you do not get a screwing crown, but this only gets 50 meters of water resistance. It is a chronograph, so that does make sense. This is a 42 millimeter watch. Let's do some measurements. So uh, I measured it at the bezel and I got basically 42 millimeters, as you can see there. And at the case, I get almost exactly the same. So case and bezel do line up on here. You get a very nice, big, grippy crown at 6.8 millimeters. And then the lug to lug on here, Pretty long lug to lug because you get these long lugs on this watch, 51.2. Uh, so it is large wearing when you do get it on your wrist, even though it is a 42 millimeter watch. 13.5 millimeters thick for a chronograph, hand wound. That's right in the ballpark where I think it should be. The strap on here is beautiful as well. What they did was they went with a calf leather strap with some sort of vintage looking stitching. It's sort of a cream color. And then of course the buckle, the buckle is really nice. You have polishing, brushing, and it is signed. So it's not just a buckle off the shelf. It's a little bit bespoke. I mean, they use it over and over again throughout their line of watches, but it is a very nice buckle. So very quickly, I'm gonna throw it on my wrist. Then we're gonna do a loom shot. We'll talk about price as well. Price on these, like I said, is very, very good. But before we talk about price, Quickly, today I have on a really interesting watch from Timex. I recently did a video about the Timex Seamaster or Railmaster, whatever you want to call it. This is something else that they're doing here. Uh, this is a watch that actually came out a while ago. I wanted to do a review about it, but I never did. It went on sale, so I bought it. Um, and I don't regret it, actually. It's pretty cool. Uh, I'll wear it for a little while and then I will do a uh, video on this. It will actually be dropping soon because I've had it for a few days now. But a uh, really interesting watch, 43 millimeters on that watch, so it is large. Uh, and you can see this is a 42 millimeter watch, but you do have these long lugs. So you can see those lugs do almost reach the edge of my wrist. Now I have a seven and a half inch wrist, so they don't quite meet there. Uh, and I do have a little bit of space, but I think for someone with a smaller wrist than me, might be a problem. That being said, the price on here is $289. If you use Chris 15, you get $15 off. So it comes out to like $275. This is a lot of watch 
for $275. It doesn't look like anything came off the shelf for this watch. In other words, uh, it looks a lot more expensive than the price. That's the only way you really can put it. Uh, obviously, it is an homage to a watch that's very expensive, but it doesn't look like it's a cheap watch. And $275 for a watch with a hand-wound uh, ST19, sapphire crystal, sa uh, ceramic bezel, uh, that's a chronograph with a really nice strap, even a bespoke, somewhat bespoke buckle. That's pretty awesome. Anyway, next we'll do a loom shot, and then you're gonna see that there is a ton of loom on here, and I always wonder, how do they make money on these watches? But let's take a look. Loom is great on here really well applied everywhere. Actually, I would say it's liberally applied to the hands, the indices, and even the bezel. Everything is very, very well applied with Loom. I'm impressed for $275 what they're giving you. $289 is still even a great price for this watch. Uh, I am very, very impressed. It's really good looking and obviously very well executed. If you're okay with an homage, this is a great homage to a watch that's not very popular. Not a lot of people know that watch, the Air Command from Blancpain. It's not a very, very popular watch, so kind of cool. Anyway, tell me what you guys think down in the comments below. What do you think of this watch? What do you think of the price? What do you think of the brand Sugis and Seastern? They make some pretty amazing homages, uh, and I really love featuring them here on my channel. I think they do a great job with their watches, and they really don't cut corners. And these are the results. They do a great job. Anyway, tell me what you think in the comments down below. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog, all one word. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.